is Friday today and I thought that we could spend this weekend together and do like a weekend vlog so that's why I'm starting off the vlog today. I had a really uh, long uni week. My schedule was actually insane this week like I have days from 8.30 until 7 in the evening and that's why I feel like today I'm going to chill a bit but for the weekend I do have some fun plans. So it's going to be a nice combination of activities, productive stuff because I do have to work on uni and kind of resetting and taking care of myself because I really need to prioritize me time. Anyways, I just came back from the grocery store. I have like two bags full of groceries. I did like a huge haul for the weekend. Usually I do groceries every other day because my shoulders are really weak so I can never carry too many bags but today I was just like, I just want to get everything at once. Anyways, we're gonna do a little haul. First of all, bananas, so important. For breakfast, for a snack, for a pre-workout, for a post-workout, for banana pancakes. Then I got some peeled tomatoes for shakshuka or like a chili or something. I got a huge pot of chickpeas. Do you see how big this pot is? I want to make hummus, that's why I got this. Then we have a big bag of frozen veggies. Greek yogurt. I really want to make like cinnamon apples with Greek yogurt this weekend and maybe even make like a homemade granola. We'll see. Some lentils. I'm going to make a lentil soup tonight. Lots and lots of eggs. I go through eggs so fast here, it's actually crazy. So I just got a pack of 10. Some steak for like a lunch or dinner. Two packages of soy milk. I've really been into soy milk lately. I don't really know why, but it is kind of fitting. I also got this like vegan heavy cream made of soy, which I like throwing in like tomato sauces. I got a loofah, very random, but it's such a pretty color. Look at how pretty that pink color is, honestly. I don't know. I don't know if I like loofahs. I actually want an African net, but I haven't been able to find one, so I just got a loofah for now. Kiwis. This is like my favorite fruit for colder seasons. Like kiwis are so good. Fresh loaf of bread, canned tuna. Also such an essential, like you can make so many salads or sandwiches with tuna. And then frozen blueberries. I honestly thought that I got so much more, but apparently this is all. Okay guys, I didn't really film my dinner because I really needed some me time and I decided to continue this vlog tomorrow. But I just made the ultimate fall comfort meal. I made a lentil soup and grilled cheese. I have literally perfected my lentil soup recipe. It tastes like an authentic Lebanese lentil soup. And I feel like Lebanese lentil soups are like my favorite, I would say, and Egyptian ones. Um, and then I made a grilled cheesy, which is so good. The cheese pull is insane, I'm gonna show you. And I just lit a candle and I've just been sitting here because I told you guys in a previous vlog that I used to struggle with eating in silence and putting a candle on and like really taking a moment to eat dinner has been helping a lot. But guys, you need to see this cheese bowl because it's insane. Oh. Okay, the other sandwich had a better cheese bowl to be honest, but... I also have such a good grilled cheese recipe. I'm gonna share it very soon. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning. I just came back from a plant market and I got my first and probably my only plant from my apartment. I don't want to get too many because I'm obviously leaving in three months. It's crazy. I'm already like halfway through my exchange. But I just quickly wanted to show you my new baby. I'm not a plant person to be honest, guys. Like, I don't know anything about plants. But it says Fichus lirata. I'm thinking that's probably gonna go against this wall. But I don't know if I want to put it on the floor or on a table. We'll see. There were so many plants at that market, like I honestly got overwhelmed by the choice of plants. And I'm like, do I regret this choice or not? I don't know. No. I think it's cute. We're gonna see how it looks like when it's unpacked and everything. I'm gonna make some lunch right now and then I'm gonna go out again because I'm meeting up with another friend later on to grab some coffee, which is nice. Well, matcha. I discovered this cafe in Toulouse, which is called Berla Negra. And it's like the only cafe I've found so far that actually together with another one, but Toulouse doesn't have that many places that sell good matcha and this one does if you ask them to make it extra strong. If you don't, it's not the best latte, but they already know me right now and they know that I want mine extra strong and then it actually tastes like a proper good matcha. So I'm happy that I found that place. Anyways, 
I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat and then I'll catch up with you guys later. This mirror is so dirty, I'm gonna clean it tomorrow, I promise. But I'm gonna go out right now, my little matcha date, and I just thought that I would show my outfit of the day. I've really been into fall fashion because in Toulouse it is possible to wear fall outfits. Like in Amsterdam, I feel like I always just wear winter outfits during the fall time because it gets cold really easily. But here it's been like amazing weather-wise. The sun is out as well. Anyways, I'm wearing a cardigan from Mango and a little tank top from Mango underneath it as well. My jeans are from Gina Tricot. And then I'm wearing Sambas and my little bag is from Jacques Mousse. And I just put my hair up in like a ponytail. But that's it. <laughs> This song up inside of me In a world I don't want to say Just the same damn thing What's your height, what's your age What's the price of your wage And every year we're expected to show All the things that we were able to grow When you're making half the money But the cost has doubled Quiet life of desperation Right, I just finished my matcha date It was so lovely to spend some like one-on-one -on -one time with someone i feel like i've only been hanging out in groups a lot lately and it's been really exhausting like it's been really nice but i feel like i've gotten to a point where it's like low-key exhausting because my introverted side is starting to come out slowly anyways guys it's such a beautiful day i'm actually so happy like this morning it was freezing but the sun came out and it's like an amazing fall day i absolutely love it i mean just look at the sunshine it's so pretty Anyways, I'm gonna go back home right now and then I'm gonna have to finish some stuff for uni and tonight a friend is coming over and we're gonna cook together so I think I'll either catch up with you tomorrow maybe when I get home but I'm not sure <laughs> I am never home around this time of the day and it's amazing like I want to spend more time at home honestly I feel like the past three months I was really extroverted and like saying yes to everything and I'm also happy I did that because I feel like that's also kind of what an exchange is all about but my intention for the next three months is really to spend more time at home have more me time and just you know focus a lot on my health on my goals on my inner peace all that but guys look at this lighting i'm getting like sunshine in my apartment and it feels so nice <gasps> ah, this feels amazing because during the week I'm usually at university around this time, it's like 5ish so I would be like taking the bus home and obviously the sun is setting earlier but I love how cozy my apartment feels right now it feels like a nice Sunday and I'm also really happy for my plants because they're finally getting some sun also update on my plants, my basil's doing okay like some, you see how it's kind of growing like some little new leaves have formed on some spots but it's definitely not going to survive the winter my mint is also doing okay. It's like, it was already kind of weak when I got it, but it's, a, it's, it's doing fine now, I think. I really hope that it will continue to grow. My chives are an absolute failure. I don't know what I did wrong, but I think I'm gonna put a parsley in here. Anyways, I'm gonna sit on my sofa right now and journal a little bit because life is so fast paced here that I literally don't have time to process what's happening. And I feel like I really wanna prioritize journaling and just sitting in silence and meditating more because those are tools that really help me cultivate that inner peace because in the beginning i feel like i was high on adrenaline because so much was happening here but now i've gotten to a point where i'm really starting to get like socially exhausted anyways i'm gonna sit on my sofa right now and i'm gonna journal in the sun and just reflect a little bit check in with myself literally do a mind dump by the way i finally got a blanket for my sofa it feels so nice to kind of have like more of a cozy apartment because like in the beginning my apartment felt very empty and i don't think i'm going to be getting too many things because i'm only here for three more months but it definitely feels nice to have like a cozy blanket on my sofa and then also i have like one pillow over here and i have my new plant and then i have like a candle on my table and i have this little thing which my sister got me from bali it's for like an incense stick and these are like leftover flowers from a bouquet I got, but you can like use them as dry flowers. So this is kind of like my living room situation at the moment. But I definitely want to get more candles for the fall and winter time. And what I also have been doing more is like listening to 528 
heart's frequencies because that really calms my nervous system. Music is overstimulating me at this point, so I love listening to this in the background. And trust me, like if you ever need to study or if you ever need to calm down, like if you're just overwhelmed, putting this on in the background really, really helps. It's so relaxing. Like it feels like I'm in a spa or like a wellness center or something. but I'm still like in my pajama and in my bathrobe and it feels amazing. I had some pancakes this morning, called with my friend. And in general, I just had such a lovely slow morning. Like I feel like I finally reached a state of inner peace, a clear mind. <sighs> I feel so calm and I feel so like in alignment with myself, which is honestly such an incredible feeling. So yeah. Anyways, I do have some to-dos for today. I definitely need to finish one assignment. I need to study a little bit. Really want to go outside as well because the sun is shining. And I just want to soak up every ray of sunshine as long as it's still possible. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys along on my day. At night, I have a nice dinner sushi date with a friend. And that's kind of it. But I'm going to make a hojicha right now. And I thought that I would show you guys how I make it because not that many people know about hojicha, it's becoming more popular but I absolutely love this drink. I used to work as a barista in a matcha cafe and they also sold hojicha which was like honestly at this point I feel like four years ago but I kind of stopped drinking it because I didn't have it at home but then Siobhan was so kind and she gave me like two little bags of hojicha to take with me to Toulouse so I've been having that a lot more and i really like hojicha because there's less caffeine in it sometimes matcha even gets me jittery so that's why i really like drinking hojicha then and in general the taste is very different so sometimes i'm just craving it taste wise if i had to describe the taste i would say that it kind of it tastes like roasted tea it is roasted tea as well wait it says it on the package hojicha is a japanese green tea that originated in kyoto 100 years ago unlike traditional green teas hojicha is roasted after the leaves are steamed Along with removing all bitterness, the roasting process gives hojicha its signature earthy aroma, its reddish brown color, and a unique smoky taste. So, now you know what hojicha is in case you didn't. Um, but I prepare it the same way I prepare my matchas actually. I'm gonna make an iced one, I think. Okay, so first I'm going to soak my bamboo whisk in some hot water, just because my bamboo whisk is really fragile. If it's not, I don't really think that you need this step. And then I'm going to put some hot water in my bowl and take my sifter out no my sifter got wet okay fuck it we're not gonna use a sifter today usually i would then i take like a teaspoon of hojicha powder and i put it in the bowl and i really only drink this in the fall and winter time to be honest i don't feel like it's a summer drink maybe like on a rainy summer day but if you know the taste of hojicha you know what i mean it has a very unique taste it's lovely but it's not for every day in my opinion but yeah then i'm just going to whisk it in a zigzag motion like i would with a matcha when the top has this frothy layer you're basically done and i'm only going to use two ice cubes because in the fall and winter time ice drinks are not the best for my throat but i do love the taste of them and i'm going to use soy milk but if you want the best taste i would recommend oat milk to be honest I forgot one thing by the way, I just added some agave to it because I do like to add a little bit of sweetener but usually I would add the agave whilst I'm like whisking the hojicha. Anyways, that's the drink. It looks so funny, like it has a very interesting color but it's so nice. Thank you, Siobhan. <laughs>
bathroom lighting is horrible. Let's please ignore that, okay? Because I need to get ready. I am gonna go out for dinner right now. I'm just doing my makeup really quickly. I'm really excited because we're going out for sushi. And I would say that sushi is like my favorite food. I'm not sure. But I think, yeah, I think my sushi is like my favorite food to eat out. Or like for takeaway, you know what I mean? Because I do like a lot of foods, but I prefer to cook those. And sushi is like one of those foods that just hits when it's from a restaurant. It's like if I make sushi at home, it's not going to be good. Anyways, I'm a bit stressed because I'm running a bit late. I just have so many things that I have to get done today. But I'm just... My palette broke. It's so sad. I have this little palette from e.l.f. I absolutely love it. It's like such a nice highlighter and blush combination, but the blush broke, so that's a bit sad. Maybe I can buy a new one. Actually, no, I can still use it. But if you have like a similar skin complexion to mine, I can really recommend it. It's such a cheap palette, but it literally blends into your skin so well. I'm not a makeup guru, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, but I really like it. It's so easy to apply. I feel like it always just blends in seamlessly, and it's just a perfect match for my skin tone. I don't even know if I have time to do my hair actually. So maybe I'm just gonna <laughs> put a little bit of gel. By the way, I got a new perfume and I've been obsessed with it. It's the Kayali Vanilla 28. It's a very popular scent, that's why I didn't want to get it at first. And the first time I smelled it, I hated it. But once this perfume, once this perfume settles in, it's so... <clears throat> It's just so lovely. Like if you are a vanilla girl, I really, really recommend it. It's such a lovely vanilla scent. It's like the exact scent I was looking for. And I wanted a scent for Toulouse because obviously like certain scents can remind you of certain periods of your life. So I wanted like a new scent for Toulouse and this was the winner for the next month. But it, it might be my new scent period to be honest because I love it so much. I don't know if I'm ready to let go of it after <laughs> they leave here. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna wear my friend's boots. So I'm just gonna hop into my Uggs really quickly. She lives in my building. So I'm gonna go down to her place and then I will change my shoes. But for now, this is the outfit. So I'm just wearing a long dress and then I'm wearing my coat over it and my Japanese bag. Oh my god, this is so wow. pretty. Yeah. 